What many people don't know about Leonardo da Vinci is that although he was left-handed and ambidextrous, he chose to write from right to left with his left hand for a very special reason. And that reason was that when you write in that direction, you don't smudge what you've just written or drawn. He didn't want his hand to pass over what he'd just written. There are a lot of instances where people have said that Leonardo da Vinci wrote backwards from right to left because he wanted to hide something he was writing. He didn't want anyone just opening his so-called diaries, his notes, and having a peek at what he was thinking. So it was a kind of security measure. But this is nonsense. What he was really doing was thinking and acting from first principle. First of all, if you look at one of his pages, it doesn't take very long or very much effort to read it backwards. Uh, you don't really need to put a mirror there. A mirror will help, but it, it's pretty easy to read uh, as it is. So it obviously wasn't to keep things secret. Secondly, we know that Leonardo da Vinci was left-handed primarily. He could write with both hands because we have many examples of him writing right-handed and left-handed, even on the front and the back of the same pictures or illustrations. What happened was that his father was a notary, so his father taught him to read and write. And we know this because Leonardo da Vinci's handwriting is very similar to his father's. And left-handed people, there was more of a stigma associated with that in the older days than there is now. And so he knew when to write right-handed and he knew obviously that people wanted to see right-handed writing when he needed to communicate with others, such as letters he wrote, they, they, they were written right-handed. But for him personally, for his personal notes, he wanted to write left-handed. And actually what happens is if you write left-handed from left to right, your hand will go over and smudge what you've just written or as much what you've just painted. So Leonardo was a genius, he was very fastidious and he thought from first principle it didn't matter what was conventional to him. He just looked at the world with eyes that sought to see what was most logical and rational. So what he did was write from right to left and none of his hand therefore would pass over what he had just painted. So the wetting, wet paint or even avoiding smudges in any kind of other materials that, that he would have marked. So it's extremely logical. It makes sense if an alien came down to earth and started to think how to uh, draw or write paint, they would follow the same uh, logic as him. And this is another example of his genius and how he avoided being influenced by what was popular, what was conventional, what he would be approved for doing. And this is something we see a lot in people who didn't get brainwashed by formal education. In fact, Leonardo da Vinci only went to school for a short period and that was a special uh, private school where they coach people in the abacus in calculation and also in uh, identifying patterns and things in common in between financial statements and other things in the mathematical universe. So that was his only education apart from home education from his father. So I assume, uh, it's reasonable to assume that that kept his mind open and allowed him to flourish and adapt his own ways of thinking, his own ways of learning.